Hello, good morning, and welcome to lesson 5 of the course Introduction to Rapid Application Development using SQL Server and ESP.NET Maker. I am Benjamin Fadino. In lesson 5, we are going to learn how to assign data types to the columns that make up the first table in our database. As our custom is, we first of all ensure that the SQL Server service is running. It's not running, so I'll click Start the service. <coughs> Now it's running. So I'm going to start Management Studio now. This time around, I'm going to connect to the database engine using um, SQL Server Authentication. So I click Connect. Now, the database we are working with, the name of the database is Moyik Bank TV. Now that I have access to Object Explorer, I will expand the databases folder. I will expand Moyik Bank TV folder. I will expand the tables folder. And here we have the first table we created in the last lesson, whose name is account types. Now I'm going to assess the design of this table. Now what I do is I'll right click on this table and I'll click on design. In the last lesson, we gave the names of account type ID and account type name to the two columns that make up this table. It is time for us to determine the kind of data each column is going to store. For account type ID, we'll click in the data type column. We will open the drop down and select a data type called int. Int is short form for integers. And integers means all numbers without decimal places, numbers like 5, 9, 13, 14. So account type ID is going to store all numbers without decimal places. For account type name, we change the data type from, uh, from NK10 to NPACA50. Now I could have changed this to VACA. 50. But instead of choosing, uh, uh, changing it to VACA 50, I change it to N VACA 50. Now, what's the difference between um, N VACA 50 and VACA 50? Now, the difference is that um, the, the N VACA 50 has support for Unicode and that means um, that column will be able to store inter, uh, almost any, uh, will be able to store any type of character, whether Chinese or whatever. So because it has support for Unicode format. But in the case of um, VACA 50, data will be stored in ASCII format. So now that I've, uh, I have assigned data types to uh, the two columns in 
in the table. I'm going to save them again. So to save them, I could go to file. I'll say, I'll now click on save account types. Oh, now you look at this. Saving changes is not permitted. The changes you have made require the following tables to be dropped and recreated. You normally see this kind of error when you have newly installed SQL Server. Now, how do you prevent this kind of uh, this dialog from appearing the next time? What you do, I'm going to close this dialog, then I'll go to Tools, then I'll go to Options, then I'll go to I'll, I'll go to Designers, then I'm going to uncheck Prevent Saving Changes That Require Table Recreation, then I'll click on OK. Then I'll go again and try to save file, save account types. This time I'm not presented with any dialogue that will stop me from uh, saving changes to my table. Thank you.